Copilot for your model-driven apps just got a little bit smarter with the ability to customize the Copilot with Copilot Studio. This is in preview right now, and there's a couple things that you need to do to be able to enable this. First, in the environment that you want to try this out in, go over to your environment settings and go to features. And in the upper left-hand corner here, make sure this is toggled on to enable AI-powered Copilot experiences. And next, you'll need to go to make.preview.powerapps.com and open up the model-driven application that you want to enable this in. And it's really important to put that in there because this is a preview feature at the time of this video. Then in the settings of your model-driven app, select upcoming and do a search for Copilot and make sure on this Copilot control dropdown that this is set to on. Once you do that, you should be all set. The experience that I'm talking about, which we can customize, is this right here. You'll notice when you run your model-driven application, we have this Copilot button in the upper right-hand corner that we can toggle on or off. It should be expanded automatically when you launch your Power App, but if it's not, you can click on that Copilot button and it will open up the Copilot chat. Out of the box, without any additional customization, this chat can help you answer questions about the data in your model-driven app. So this is a band management application that I built. So I could ask it something like, how many lyrics are there? Because I have a table that stores all of my lyrics and it will come back with an answer. But now this just got even more powerful because we can customize this with Copilot Studio. So instead of just referencing the data in this model-driven app, we can add additional knowledge sources into this Copilot experience. To do that, you'll go back into your Power App in edit mode. And you should see if you click on these three dots in the left-hand side of the menu, an option to configure in Copilot Studio. What this will do is open up a new tab into Copilot Studio where we can customize this app's Copilot. So if we look at this inside of Copilot Studio, we can see that it has some pre-built topics that allow us to chat back and forth with the data in the application. But we can add additional knowledge here. Now, before I go into showing you how to add additional knowledge to this experience, there's a couple of caveats that I wanna talk about. First, generative AI orchestration currently isn't supported. And what am I talking about when I talk about generative AI orchestration? Well, if we go over to the settings here, you'll see under the generative AI section, we have this toggle here about how our agent should interact with people. And we have a classic option and a generative option. With the generative capability, it uses AI to dynamically determine what specific topics, actions, and knowledge to use. So when it comes to customizing Copilot chat in our model-driven applications, we can't use this generative approach and need to rely on the classic approach. And this relies on us defining custom topics and trigger phrases for those topics so that it knows when to execute a specific topic. And another caveat here is it currently only supports public websites, file upload, and SharePoint knowledge sources. Dataverse knowledge isn't a part of this preview. Now with that out of the way, let's see how we can add some knowledge. We'll select the add knowledge button and I'm going to select the public website option. Since I'm integrating this into my band management application, I want to use this to be able to identify different venues that I can play at. And to do that, we have this Visit Tulsa site. And in this site, it has different things about music, including different venues and even live events going on. So I wanna use this as my knowledge source and I'll paste that link here and select add. I'm going to tweak the description here just to make it more descriptive and we'll select add. So with this additional knowledge here, I could publish this and go back to my model-driven app and give it a test. But there's another thing we can customize before we publish this, and that's this prompt suggestion menu. If we go back to our model-driven app, we can see that it has these suggestions of things we can ask, like what are my table names, who is assigned to a specific record, and things like that related to the data in my app. With me adding this new knowledge source, I could add an additional prompt example here. To add these prompt examples, I'm going to go back to Copilot Studio and we'll go to the Topics tab. We'll add a new topic from blank. Now in the Learn documentation, which I'll put a link to in the video, there's a good example of how you can customize this. And there's a bit of code that you can copy and paste, which is what I've done here. To copy and paste that code, click on this More button and go to Code Editor. We'll just replace everything that's there and I'm going to copy in this code that I have. This is defining the topic and the thing that you'll wanna change if you're customizing this to your scenario is down here. These are the different questions, the sample prompts that we're defining. So you'll wanna change the display name and the subtitle name to whatever is relevant for what you're adding. And then you can change each of these different questions. So I've customized this to my application. Now, once you have that, just click save and name your topic. So we'll just call this custom prompt and click save. So just by me pasting in that code, it's added all of these different things to the topic. One of the things that you'll notice it's doing is it has a special trigger type, which is an event received. So that's what we need to be able to use this inside of the Copilot chat experience. 
It's parsing some values and setting a variable. So now that we have that, we can publish all of our customizations and then go back over to our model-driven app and test it out. Now you'll need to refresh your model-driven app maybe a couple times to get all this to show, but it should work with all of our customizations that we have. All right, so it looks like it's good to go and publish. So let's go back over to our app. So let's first see if our prompt customization is showing up. Now where it's going to be visible is not in this section right here, but by clicking on this button that says view prompts. Now before we just had act, analyze and ask, but now there is our new section where we put the title and the subtitle. So we have a new Tulsa music help. And if we click on that, there are all of our sample questions. So I can click on any one of these, like say, what is the history of Tulsa music? Press enter and it should go out to that new website that we just added. And there we go, we have an answer. And if we look, there's the source right here. I can click on that and it will take me right to where it got that information from that additional knowledge source that we added. I can go back to view prompts with my customization that we did and ask another question, like maybe suggesting venues and yet another answer from that website. So we have two different links this time that we can click on and get some more information. So that's how easy it is to be able to customize your Copilot chat experience and your model-driven apps. I've shown you how you can have your own custom helper starter prompts. We've seen how to add additional knowledge sources. We only added one, but we can add multiple knowledge sources to this. And I've shown you how to customize a prompt guide with your own questions. There's even more we can do here besides adding additional knowledge sources. We can define more custom topics, do things like call a Power Automate flow to perform different workflows and actions, and even customize the output of the chat with adaptive cards. So if you're interested in learning more about any of those topics, drop a note in the comments and let me know and I can do some follow-up videos. If you try this out, let me know what you think. I'd love to know what you hear about it and what your use cases are. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.